Let me show you something crazy. Right. This is our sky, thousands of years in the future. Oh, you can model it. It's forecasting, just like you would forecast power distribution patterns in your nuclear reactor. And that is the Big Dipper. So while- Look different. And after all, it's not a fixed constellation machine. It just happens to be a chance alignment. Like when you look at control rods, each of them moves on its own schedule. But from a distance, they look like a neat pattern until you start tracking them individually. We are orbiting the sun. The sun is hurtling through the galaxy at 800,000 kilometers an hour. Take okay, that's its velocity around the center of the galaxy. Figures out to about 220 kilometers per second. Us right along with it. And all the other stars in our sky are also moving. They're just so far away that during our lives, we don't see them moving much. But we've been tracking them. The Gaia Space Telescope has been sweeping across the sky, taking measurements and building a 3D map. Basically the nuclear grade instrumentation of astrophysics. Sub milli arc second parallax measurements. Kind of like using neutron detectors to pinpoint power distribution in your core. So now we can take our sky and speed it up thousands of years into the future. And what you see is this. Yep, Big Dipper turned into some zigzaggy mess. Just like running a reactor transient and fast forward. Relative motion is everything, whether you're looking at the galaxy or neutrons in a reactor.